Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Gold. Guys, we have been playing around these toast messages from a long time. From the creation of toast messages like success, error, info and warning to the creation of custom toast messages for community and your lightning map components, right? So this video is also going to be related to one of the toast message functionality. So recently, Salesforce has introduced a new functionality in its Spring 23 release using which you will be able to justify the toast message location now. So instead of using the default location each time, you will be able to justify it now maybe on top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left and of course the center will always be there. So in this video, I'll show you how you will be able to use this Spring 23 toast message functionality to maintain the location of your toast messages. So let's start with this video guys and couple your posts when you're watching Salesforce Gold. All right guys, let's start today's video. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can create toast messages and how you can justify its location using the toast container uh, functionality, which has been recently introduced by Salesforce in its Spring 23 release. So I have already created a empty component here and we'll be inserting toast messages here and then we will try to arrange the location based on the toast container functionality, okay? So for that, first we need to create toast messages of course so i won't be creating it from scratch instead of that you can also try that you can just simply go to my blog which is salesforcepool.com and click on the search box and search for the toast notification example so as i said already we have been playing through this functionality from a long time this is not the new functionality guys this is just a additional add-on which recently has been added to it okay so this was my last example where I have created, I believe, four toast components. Uh, custom toast notification. Okay, just a second. This is the customization one. I think this is the standard one. Yes, here it is. So let me copy the HTML first. So on the HTML side, guys, if you will notice, so I'm having four buttons here. So this is just a div tag and here I'm having four button to display different different toast messages and here I'm having label as error warning success info toast messages okay and on on click I have created a separate function for that as well which is show error show warning show success and show info all right now we will try to copy the JavaScript as well so for the JavaScript part to display the toast messages first you need to import it using import show toast event from lightning.platform show toast event. So I will just copy this line first and go back to my VS code, JavaScript file, and here it is. Okay, now I will copy these four functions, which is show error, show warning, show success, and show info. Okay. If this is the first time you're watching this video, I mean the toast message functionality in a video, then let me explain one of them. Okay, so let's go with the show error. So to create a toast message, guys, you can simply uh, create it uh, by creating an instance of the show toast event, uh, which which we have imported here. And you can pass like what needs what title needs to be there, what would be the message, and what would be the variant of it. And after that, you can simply trigger it using this dot dispatch event okay and in that event you just need to pass the constant on the variable in which you have created this toast event so in variant you are having error variant warning success and info as well so these are the four different toast variants which are available by default in LWC right now okay so let me quickly deploy this component and show you the output first Okay, it is deployed now. We don't have any error yet. So we'll go to this app page again and I will refresh it. Okay, so here on this page, you are able to see those four buttons. Now, now if I will click on error, so it will trigger show error button, which will display a error toast here. If I will click on warning, it will display a warning toast on the center of the screen. The same way you will be able to see success and 
info as well. So these are the four kinds of toast available by default in LWC. Now recently Salesforce has introduced a functionality to change the location of where your message is getting displayed. Okay, so that functionality is the toast container. To use the toast container, you just need to import it first. So we'll do import. To import toast container, okay. From lightning toast container okay so this is the way how which you will be able to import it now the thing is you need to call it out somewhere so for this demo i will be calling it out on the connected callback which is going to be load of this component you can always customize this functionality as per requirement maybe on click of a button you need to change the toast location or maybe on click of a pick list or any other value okay so wherever you want to change this you need to add that functionality so for today i'll be adding it in connection callback okay so in connection callback the same way which we have created the toast you need to create an instant of it so we will do toast container equals to toast container dot instance okay so this we have just created an instant of it and there are a few other parameters also which you can pass here like how how many toast messages can be displayed on this container so for that you can do toast messages max max shown so for this demo i will just do it three okay now you need to pass a location of the toast message where you want to have it so you can simply do toast container dot toast position so let's say uh, maybe we can have it on top left okay so these are the three lines that you need to implement if you want to you know manage the position of that toast message or you want to have it somewhere else instead of the default position okay so now i will just quickly deploy this component deploy source to org okay it is deployed successfully let me close this pop-up quickly and so the location i have uh, modified there is top uh, right i think okay so now if i will click on error oh sorry it was top left my bad <laughs> so you can see the toast message here on the top left warning success and info as well and now if i will click on error so that is not going to be displayed until one of the toast message get disappeared because the max shown we have set three there so maximum three values can be in that container so that same way you can have other values as well maybe top right and you can also have like bottom left bottom right those values are already there so let's try this top right one okay so i will deploy it again to the org Okay, it is deployed successfully. So previously it was top left. Now let me refresh this component again. And now if I will click on this, it is going to be on top right corner like this. Okay, so that's how you can justify the locations of your toast messages, like where it should display instead of that default location what we are having from LWC. So yes, learning LWC is, you know, it is pretty fun because Salesforce is introducing so many good things around it like first we had toast now we can maintain the location of it this is pretty awesome there might be some new feature also around it i'm expecting them like an upcoming release related to these toast messages and uh, also guys i will be having the same uh, the whole code on my blog also which is salesforcecode.com so if you need the complete code feel free to go to the blog and just you can just simply copy and paste from that blog post and also I will mention like what are the other positions you'll be able to use using this toast container dot toast position, right? So you can also get that things from that blog itself. Okay, so that it is for today, guys. If you like today's video, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.